Yeah, uh, first on Arith Gutierrez. Arith, A-R-I-T-H, first name, last name Gutierrez, G-U-T-I-E-R-R-E-Z. Uh, Alpha Troop 191 Cav. Uh, Camp uh, Manjaka in Bosnia. Operation Go and Amble is an exercise that uh, it's basically for us to better our, our home skills, but also to train with the, uh, the host nation's uh, forces. So it's, an, uh, it's a combined exercise with, with the Bosnians uh, as well as for us to come and get better. We had a cooperation with the Office of Defense Cooperation here in Bosnia and Sarajevo. Uh, and uh, some of the uh, partners that we have there, uh, obviously some U.S. Army, some the host nation. Uh, but it was about a six-month process to try and get this set up. Uh, this is our second year here. The logistics is a lot on our XO. He's the one that was able to coordinate a lot of it. Uh, the commander basically talking to the ODC office, um, trying to figure out which units can support it as far as uh, aircraft. Uh, this time we have uh, aircraft from uh, Fort Stewart, uh, Georgia. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, they're here to help us uh, train with the partners uh, for our own, obviously, air insertions, but also help them train as well. Um, so for this exercise, it's, for us, it's, it goes back with our job. We're doing uh, secure and reconnaissance operations. Uh, what I think my guys like, and I think me and the commander are very, uh, uh, very well with is that the, the challenging terrain that we have here. Uh, the terrain is challenging, so it makes guys think outside the box to figure out like how to accomplish our mission. We, our, our host nation partners, our, our Bosnian partners, are actually uh, very um, integrated with us this time. So like it's it's, it's very very rewarding. So first we uh, obviously we, we do the meet and greet with them. Then we assign uh, combined leaderships like the the a platoon of theirs with a platoon of ours. Uh, then we come together, start developing SOPs. Uh, as you saw, we, we start training with them, and then, then we go out and do executions with them. Good, because now you have the difference of not just trying to deal with your own guys, but you're also like dealing with people that like you have to go through a translator. So yesterday when I was in some of them, uh, I was in some of their objective when they were assaulting the objective, uh, is them trying to like get people how to influence or how to motivate people to do what they have to do uh, without having to be yelling or running around. Like, so it, it, it's challenging for them. Like I said, it's a very challenging exercise, very challenging terrain, but it challenges us as well because we can, be, we can find ourselves in an exercise like this, or not an exercise, but an actual situation where we we'll be like some other NATO partners a lot. Uh, so like I said, this is, this is one of those things where like working with the bosses helps us a lot because it helps people think outside the box. It's not a normal everyday job. It's not every day that privates are teaching soldiers. Uh, but here they are, like this is my job, this is what I do. I'm gonna teach it to you and you're gonna do it just like me. And then NCO is basically getting out there making sure it happens. No, like I said, Operation Go and Ambo, it's, it's, this is a very challenging uh, training area. Like I said, this is not the terrain, uh, but you know, just working with the, 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 the host country uh, partners, it, it's just challenging for us, but it's very rewarding at the end. Yes, like I said, like, this is the second year we come here. We hope that this can be like a yearly event for us to come here every summer. Uh, from the time that we started doing this last year and this year, like, we saw that it was a lot more involvement from them to do the things that we're doing. Uh, last year was more like, let me see what you do and I'll tell you if I want to do it or not. This year was like, I like what you do. I want to go out and do it with you. So we wanted to get to be a point like when we come here and do it again, that like as soon as we get here, hit the ground, like we're already embedded with them, not like waiting like, you know, halfway through the exercise to start doing missions with them. We want to we wanna get in the, with them as soon as possible. My name is Captain Miles Dungan. I'm the commander of Anvil Troop 191 Cav. Yep, so it's Miles, M-Y-L-E-S, Dungan, D-U-N-G-A-N. Yeah, so this is the second year we do Operation Golden Anvil. Uh, last year it was a higher headquarters directed operation. We came out here, partnered with the Armed Forces BIH. Uh, we had such a great experience last year working with them and being out here in this training area that we decided to come back um, I just recently took command of Anvil Troop, so they had already had a really good plan put together. And I just kind of get to hop on it and come out here. Um, essentially, what we've done is we've come out here, paired with uh, Armed Forces BIH, done some sticks on our own, and then we did our first iteration of integrated platoon sticks today, where we had about 25 people from them and 15 people from us pair up to make a normal infantry-sized platoon and do a platoon attack. Every unit, uh, especially every different country, has different TTPs and SOPs for their unit. Um, most of the folks working out here are infantry for Armed Forces BIH. Um, some of them do specialize in reconnaissance. 
almost all the personnel that Anvil Troop brought out here are reconnaissance. Uh, they're 19 Delta Scouts, and we have all the, the support for that. Um, but working with them, we get to show them some of our TTPs, and they get to show them show us some of some of theirs. Um, so anytime you get like a meeting of the minds, you kind of put a bunch of stuff together. Usually, everyone comes out better, and that's what's been occurring here. So operations like Operation Golden Anvil, um, really, I think there's a lot of different purposes. One of which is we get out here and we get to do good training on terrain we're unfamiliar with. Um, but even more so, we get to train with uh, partner forces, in this case, Armed Forces BIH, um, and really build build a friendship um, and build just a, a good team moving forward. We'll probably tie them into future operations, whether it be stuff up in Germany, uh, like our future Sabre Junction, or we come back down here again. We get to learn from them and they get to learn from us. Uh, for my unit, this impacts us in a few different ways. So one, while we do get to move internationally pretty often, um, coming down here with a lot of vehicles is one of the tougher things we do. So we got to essentially deploy our whole fleet. We did a lot of coordination, like big picture coordination between um, the Manjaka training area, um, which really I think is getting a, a lot better. Um, so we did a lot of coordination with them, just really on all the logistics and sustainment, and then also the actual tactical side of the house for the operation. Um, everyone comes out better. Yeah, so anytime there's a big operation like this, Operation Golden Anvil coming down here to Bosnia and Herzegovina, usually brings a lot of different players together to cooperate and like have something like way, way bigger product than you could have made independently. So between us, you know, our higher headquarters, their support, Armed Forces BIH, and then we also had the aviation out here for 3-4 uh, CAB from 3rd ID from Hunter Army Airfield. All those pieces coming together with the support from Bosnia Herzegovina, we're able to create a, a really significant training event where we all get better, which otherwise would not be possible um, on our own. Yeah, so this is the second year we've done this operation. Um, last year when we first got out here, um, we planned on doing our, our own platoon sticks and then incorporating them and, and working together, sharing TTPs, sharing SOPs, um, walking them through some of our equipment and vice versa. And ultimately, we weren't able to do any fully integrated platoon missions. Um, and that was probably for different varying reasons. This year when we came out here, they were super, super welcoming. And um, we were able to essentially bring them in immediately. As soon as we started talking with them, we had two missions, two integrated missions planned for today and tomorrow. Um, but ultimately, they kind of kept putting, requesting like more and more training. And we, each time we did that, we gained feedback from them. We gained experience from them. So even if we were training them, like they'd share their little bits of information with us and we'd get better. So having them being super welcoming of us this year and, and us being super motivated to do joint training, um, it's really yielded great results. Yeah, it's great because um, this has been a great operation. So second year in a row we've done this and we want to do it more. Uh, so really when you build those like close relationships, especially at the lowest levels, kind of like you always have someone reminding you about like the great time they had out here. Um, so f the first year we did this, like those conversations people had, those friends they made, those, those phone calls and texts they still exchange, kind of remind us like how good of a time we had out here, um, how good the training was and how training with the partner forces was, and it always makes us want to come back. Um, Cody Fallon, uh, C-O-D-Y-F-A-L-L-I-N. Uh, so I'm part of Anvil Troop 191 Cav, a red platoon. All right, so right now we're in Bosnia Herzegovina. Um, so we came down here last year. Uh, this is the second year in a row that we've been able to train with the BIH. So uh, uh, this is the barracks, our training area that we've been working on is over here to our left. We've been working out there for probably the past seven days now. Just working pretty good, keeping it, keeping it going real. Oh, I absolutely love them, 100%. Like just having the chance to come out here and train with other nations, armies, I mean, it is absolutely fantastic. We get to see new cultures. Um, hopefully here in a couple of days we'll get to do a Black Hawk jump out here and I think that's going to be absolutely amazing. Everything all in all has been fantastic. They have been nothing but welcoming uh, into their country. Um, they've given us a lot of good tactics. Like so a couple of days ago we were training with them. Uh, they were showing us like how they do LDA crossings or linear danger areas and like we just have been collaborating really well here recently. So. Not only yesterday, I could tell from the first, like the first couple of days we were here, everybody was just kind of staying separate. But now, like we all go down and hang out at the gate guard with the the BIH soldiers. Um, it is, it is awesome just getting to hear their stories about how they came up growing up here 
and uh, a lot of them are actually from Banya Luka, and uh, I know a lot of our guys are going to come back down here and hang out with them after uh, after we get done with this training event. Okay, so uh, we hit the HLZ probably about 10:15, something like that. Um, we got into our little LGOP. We shifted off the HLZ uh, so that you know we don't really want to stay in the same area for too long. Having the bird come down and it's pretty loud, it kind of draw attention. Um, so after that. We uh, reconnected with the group. Uh, we shot up the side of a mountain to go to uh, Objective Red. So the movement was probably about, I'd say a click and a half, something like that, up the side of a mountain. I mean, it's some pretty steep terrain. It was, it was a good time. It was. Uh, we really, um, we really realized where we were lacking in some things. So that was fantastic. Um, we had a few different groups, so we had the security team, so which was myself and about six other of my fellow enlisted, and so we shot off from the main group and we pulled uh, security down Route Blue, so it's just where this Y intersection is. So while my sergeant, Sergeant Bullock, and his group, along with the BIH, they went and they set up a perimeter around Objective Red, and I think. Everything went over smoothly. Um, we went, we made it all the way through without a casualty. Um, got some great training in the mix, and then last night we continued out to our uh, patrol base. So we stayed out there till about 20, I'd say probably about 23, and then we took uh, contact coming in from our our six o'clock. Um, they came in around. Uh, some of the guys heard them moving up before they got there. Um, we threw off some claymores and everything went well. We followed in with our black plan and so we picked up everything, uh, hit all traces that we were there and we shot out and found our our backstop point I guess is what you could say. So uh, we actually taught the Bosnians a little bit about the LRAS. We taught them about the nods. I'm pretty sure uh, the ITAS was somewhere in there, and we taught them about the trigger. So the trigger is just uh, like this monocular sight, and it can pull grid, lasers, uh, it can laze things. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. I uh, really believe that they had a good time, especially with the nods. So the BIH don't really do night operations, so I think that was a really, a really good experience for them to be able to see what we do with that. I mean, anytime you have a chance to train, with any other army, any other nation, it is an absolute amazing experience. I know that there aren't a lot of people back stateside to get to do that. I mean, yes, they do, but not on the scale that like we here at 191 do. Earlier this year, we went to Belgium, uh, Bosnia. We've been here twice already. Um, a couple years ago, like Bulgaria. I mean, it is just, it's an amazing experience being over here. Uh, first, R-I-L-E-Y. Last S C H I R T Z. Well, I'm in uh, 173rd 191 uh, in Anvil Troop, uh, Red Platoon. Uh, right now we're in Bosnia. Been here for a few days now, doing training missions with the uh, Bosnians. So it's it's been good. I think I think it's been really good training with the, uh, the B I H. They we have a lot to learn from them, but they have a lot to learn from us as well, which is nice. It's uh, good cross training. All the missions we've been doing together, it's been. It's been a good experience too, getting to know him, getting to talk to him, pretty much just all around. It's, it's, it's been a really good time. Uh, I personally love it. I, I think um, it's great to keep uh, relations together with them, but it's also nice just to meet them, like just meet what other militaries are like and, and how they operate and just how they are even, how they act. Like it's, I think a couple nights ago, me and um, some of the other guys, we were just uh, talking with a bunch of their guys and just, you know, laughing, kind of just hanging out and that's how it's been for a couple days now so I think it's great. Yeah yeah so um, a few nights ago we did a uh, kind of like a, a mixed training thing where we showed them how to use some of our some of our uh, equipment like the ITAS and the uh, LRAS uh, we showed them how to use our um, our NVDs and they had a good time with it uh, got to learn a lot from it and um, Pointing some of the our uh, PEC 15s at, at some of the buildings, painting some buildings. So um, I was, I, I think it was good. We got to shoot uh, some of their M60s. Yeah, uh, this was um, 
this was my first aerosol mission times doing it. Like we did, I think uh, three aerosol missions so far, and uh, I had a great time doing it. And it's just being out here and being able to do all those training exercises, um, being out, go out to the field for the day, come back, rest. It's it's pretty. It's really good actually. Um, I think I think this exercise is probably one of the one of the more better ones that they have to offer. Even being junior enlisted, I feel like very involved still with all the training going on and getting all the information to the missions and just everything in general. It's it's included. Yeah, it's the first time um, for me even I've coming to a different country to train with other uh, soldiers. I mean, I've also haven't been in too long, but um, yeah, and it was also the most I've traveled in my life. So, but it's nice to also just meet new cultures and been training with them and it's great. Uh, I think it's just to kind of like see how the BIH operate and then they can see how we operate and kind of just kind of inter intermix both um, both points of points of view on how to do uh, certain parts of missions like um, LDA crossings. We went over that together and they showed us theirs and it's a lot different from the way we did it but we learned from it and they showed us how you can do it more efficiently, maybe a little less, uh, a little more hasty version of it, which is nice. But it's it's more so just us learning how they operate, and we learn or they learn how we operate, and I think it's it's definitely really good. Probably just the missions in general, trying to communicate with them, because I know sometimes they they didn't. There's only a couple of them that speak English, so they have to translate a lot, but. We tell them to go do something, and they just look at us with like a crooked face. But at the end of the day, I think they end up figuring it out, whether it be one way or another, translation, or just kind of figuring it out. Achievement, um, probably just probably just being here. Honestly, I think uh, just being here, being able to train with the BIH, being able to train just in this environment is the biggest challenge. But it's it's really really good in the end. Probably tell her I had a really good time. <laughs> tell her I got to do a bunch of stuff that I didn't think I was going to be able to do. So like the, uh, it was the first time riding in uh, Black Hawk, so that's probably one of the first things. Let alone hopefully be able to jump out of one in a couple days. So, but yeah, I'd be able to do what my dad did. He was airborne. He jumped out of Black Hawk. He said it was awesome. So hopefully that would be the first thing, definitely. But then I'll tell her how. Got to train with all of them, you know, talk to all of them, and just kind of be here, hang around with them. Um, I, I'm PFC Solaita, first name Tyler. Okay, yeah, we're here in Bosnia, and then we're here to build relationships with uh, our Bosnian partners. Uh, this field exercise, it was, uh, it was, it was scheduled for us to uh, like be able to build like really good relationships with our fellow Bosnian partners, and it's, it's a really intense exercise. I'll admit, but I mean we're getting through it day by day. So, so one of the biggest challenges that we face would be the terrain. The terrain is a lot of uphills and like some most of the hills are like really steep, and it's like sometimes it's like a struggle for most of our guys trying to stay hydrated. Also, like the heat, it's really hot out here. I mean, it's better than it's better than what we were. You know, I think one of the biggest challenges that we face working with the Bosnians is the language barrier. I mean, they do have tra uh, translators. I mean, it's like only a few of them could are able to translate, so it's it's a challenge, yeah. When I first signed up for the Army, I did not expect us to like be able to train like with other militaries, but I mean, I'm really glad that we get the chance to like, get to, to meet new people, see how like their military operates. Uh, yes, yeah, so yesterday we had a round robin. We were showing them how our, op our equipment operates and uh, how we would use them in like a, a tactical situation. So I think one thing I tell my folks would be like the people, they're really great people. Some of them speak English, I mean most of them don't. I mean they, we still are able to break that barrier between, between each other and we're able to build like a good friendship. I mean I made friends with a few Bosnians and 
they expect me to come back on my off time. So, I mean, if you come to Bosnia, make sure you like bring a lot of water because it's really hot out here. Uh, like when you get the opportunity, make sure you take it because it's not every day you get to like train with other military. So, this is it's a it's a great honor to be here.